Hi, right, welcome to a new update of Sanctus Library. We will be going through all the new features and uh, different changes. So if you're interested, let's get started. Okay, one of the most interesting things uh, about the new update, it's the incorporation of Geometry Notes assets. Uh, now you can switch from materials to Geometry Notes. For now, it's a short list, but I will be adding more in the future. These icons shows if you have to apply to a mesh object, or for example, here to a curve object. And you have the option to apply to the select object or bring a new copy of the, of the asset. For example, if I don't have an object, I can simply add the asset. If you go to edit mode and the draw curve, we can just draw different chains like this. If you go to the modifier properties, you will find the options related to this asset. We have a scale. And these parameters are for the for each part of the chain. Here you can change the material. Let's try something else. Here we have a sofa. We can change the color. There are a lot of options here that you can check later. You can also duplicate the assets and change the settings separately. For example, this one can have two bodies, no arms. And there's also some tools. For example, let's add a cube. Say we have a, an instance here that we want to use. Selecting that instance, I will use tools. And in this case, the circular array. Apply to object. Now I have a circular array there. Activate snap, face project, align rotation to target, and then you can simply grab and place it wherever you want. You can even duplicate and place it somewhere else, and you can change the settings separately. We have values for start and end. You can create arcs. You can change the radius. You can rotate the array. Instant scale. We also have a tool to instance objects along a, a path or a cur curve. I will add the curve and an object. I will apply the scale and selecting the object. I will use a right path, apply asset to object, and then I won't see anything because I have to select the path. You can, for example, select the collection. I have an Icosphere and a Susan here and switch here. And now I have this and I see for the place that each one gets. And also here we have a cupcake. Maybe some of you already know it. It's one of the sample files from, uh, from blender.org that I provided. And you have options here also for the different colors. You can also make copies and change the colors for each one. We also have new buttons here to scroll inside our category, for example, buildings, and you can go like this and back and forth. There's also a new button to, instead of applying a material, just importing to the blend file. We have some new categories, doodles, where I I will be adding things like this. For example, in this case, it's a UV sphere, cycles, experimental, uh, adaptive subdivision. And once that's ready, you can apply this material and it will transform the uh, spheres in this creation here. There's also a few controls here. You can change the seal to give it a different shape. There's the amount of uh, parts that it has and you can animate the mouth here and there's an animation to transform it back into a sphere it's a bit slow in render view but you can you get the idea another very interesting material it's the the new version of the smart metal it works amazing with hard surface metals and here we have the, the new smart methods. I'll use this one. 
a plug material. And as you can see, even in a, on a simple cube, it already looks good. And you can basically model in real time And you have some other presets with Rust. This one and this one. And you can, of course, change all the controls here. There are some new experimental materials. We have dirt to create like landscapes, lava. And we also have this, it's some sort of planet surface. We also have uh, cables. Let's add a curve. We have some geometry. If you want it to look really good, we will add a subdivision surface. Adaptive subdivision, and let's go to ropes and cables. You can adjust in mapping, it's like how long the cables are. Example up to it will make more uh, twists. We have the wire rope. And a simple rope here too. There's also a new category for effects. Let's bring uh, Susan effects, applying material. This one works in Eevee and you can animate this and shading here you can replace this material is the one on the left and you can replace it and you can even replace the transparent one if you want to other like uh, create like some sort of switch between two materials or transition you can do it like this There are some changes to the baking tool also that you will find here. Now we have presets for the resolution. You can add a custom one if you want. We have the samples. Uh, before it was, it was using the samples defined on the render max samples. Now we can manually change that. Uh, there's an auto margin that it's set to one over 32 uh, of the size of the resolution, or you can unclick this and set the margin manually. Since uh, when you use a cycles material on Eevee, it goes super slow. Uh, I added a, a warning. For example, if I have Eevee selected, you have to remember that material preview is also Eevee, no matter what you have here selected. So avoid that. If you're using cycle material, but if you have uh, EV selected and you want to use a cycles material, for example, and we uh, apply the material, you will get a warning. This is not compatible with EV. If you press OK, it will assign it anyway, but you can stop there, change it to cycles, and then assign the material. Same if you're using, for example, the two materials that are uh, EV only and you have cycles. Uh, selected, it will warn you the same way. And one thing to note is that the geometry nodes assets don't have UVs yet, but I will be adding them in the next update. Thanks for watching and see you on the next update.